All right, so you've created your practice score match on the practice score website. Now we're going to have to make a uh, registration form for so that your shooters can actually register for your match. So underneath manage, you're going to go ahead and select create registration form. And that's going to bring you to this. I already pre-filled everything out. So the form name, just name it the same as your match. So we can go ahead and make this test match. Your recipient, who is going to receive the actual registration information, which would be you. Um, the thank you message, I pretty much have that the same as my um, match description. So all I'm gonna do for this is just copy and paste that directly into here. Okay. Because we are an NRL, since you selected NRL 22 affiliation, the divisions automatically show up. So a couple of things first is you wanna go ahead and disable the class and disable categories. And then what you can do here for member number to alleviate any type of confusion, you can go to show properties and you can just put enter your NRL 22 member number here. And then for the placeholder, you can just put NRL, just your NRL 22 number. If you want to make this a requirement, which in this case I would not because not everybody is an NRL 22 member. And then you're going to go ahead and select hide properties. Realistically, this is the only thing that you would need for a shooter to be able to register for your match. You have all the required information, their first name, last name, their email, which division they are going to be shooting in, and their NRL 22 number. Now there are some other things that you can do to add more information to your match. Um, for instance, uh, you can add right here, you know, some base class information, OG adaptive class, um, as well as for mine, I put, if you're an OG adaptive class, let me know what disabilities you have. And then that individual goes ahead and lets me know what their disabilities are. A lot of times we get, uh, can't bend at the knees. And what that does for me as a match director is I'm able to go ahead and set up my match to accommodate the OG adaptive class. Um, this right here, is this your first NRL 22 match, is a great thing to add on here because that allows you to see who your new shooters are as well as squatting them in squads that have more senior or more experienced shooters as well as making sure that those first time NRL 22 shooters are typically shooting last so that they can see everybody else um, shooting in front of them. And then I, just for administrative purposes, I'll also like to know if this is their first month, have they shot this uh, course of fire for the month already? And how do they hear about us? So the way you would create that is for, you know, is this your first match? You would just do this, the single line text and, um, or excuse me, uh, delete that. You do the single selection field. So is this, your first NRL 22 match and you can put whatever description you want in there. Have you ever shot a NRL 22 match before? And I always make this a requirement. And then hide properties. And that's exactly how it's going to show up. Another one you can do is, like we talked about the OG adaptive class, um, you could do a single line text. OG, or if you are OG adaptive, division, help if I know how to spell. Please let me know what you can't do. You 
you don't need to make this a required field because not everybody's OG adaptive. Hide properties, and now create your form. And now what we can do is go underneath our match, select the actual name of the match itself, like you're registering. Here's all the match details. And this kind of lets us check to see what all we need to put in here and see what our match registration form looks like. So we have our name, we have our email address, we have which division we're gonna be shooting in, our NRL number, you know this is the placeholder. So this will simply just move uh, as I type, but it is a placeholder, so it will stay. Uh, yes or no, if this is my first NRL 22 match. And let's put, um, I can't get up and down easily due to knee replacements. All right. And then if you notice right here, here's the match fee for $20. If they are an NRL 22 member, it automatically knocks that down. And the only way you can do this is if you set up a Stripe account. And then the individual registers. Once they register, the match director will uh, be notified via email. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and edit this real quick so we can see that. So I'm gonna click open, put my NRL 22 number in there. Not my first match. Can't bend at the knees. Well, due to the replacement. And then register. You're probably gonna hear a sound in the background. That's let me know that I received a match registration. And now I'm good to go. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go as a match director, I'm gonna go and check that the individual register, which you see right here, 49 out of 50 spots remain. So now I'm gonna go underneath manage and go approve and view shooters. And now you see the shooter right here. You can squad them, which I will create a video later on to show you exactly how to squad them. And then you can also request to withdraw the individual shooter themselves. Um, if the individual has, if we've pay, made them pay, pay through the website, you can also refund them their money through here.